a new series called The Sinking City. Uh, I feel like we're walking down in Atlantis and the Kini Bottom. No, no, no. So, uh, this game has actually been on my eye for about two years, and I've been actually really, really curious about playing this game so much that I wanted to do it on a YouTube series. I've kept my eye out, and it's been, it's finally, it finally happened, ladies and gentlemen. It went on sale where I can afford it. And hopefully, let's see if we can have some fun games, you know. I'll be okay if with a couple new ga uh, new enemies. Uh, this not isn't going to be replacing our Fallout 4 series. I know everyone loves that. It's just another game series I can stream, and I've been really, really itching to try and beat. And I'm get, I'm a little bit new. I played a little detective games. I played a little Telltale games in my past, and this game I should be fine, but just on safe we're gonna put on newcomer and put on normal not easy not hard so give me a little challenge but anyway you guys if you guys are enjoying these videos hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and a video Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you, you requested, I've researched her envision in the city of o Oakmont, Mass. It turns out that your assumption was were correct. Such a case are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, hunted by visions similar to yours, a city drowning of something great yet unknown as luck has it i believe we have a stumbled upon the source of a gem alignment and the person who might help you with it prepare yourself then and come to oakmont as soon as you can i will meet you here to help you on your way quarterly johnson's van derberg panderberg Okay. Take the pill, man. Take your goddamn medicine. I like that little transaction. I never have to use it, but something tells me I will.
Uh, I believe we just read this. If not, we have it with us. Loot this. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Trust a tourist advertisement. That's got to be something else, man. Now get out. Okay, okay. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But. Where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Uh, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Mm. Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've mm. highlighted the police station, city mm. archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Well, that's it for now, mm. I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about it. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Alright, that's that. There we go. Oakland City. Uh, articles, Devil's Reef, Hospital S. Mary, 
Library. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? Yeah. What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart. The best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Hmm. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How oh, dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big sticking pile of trouble. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. I need to know hmm. more about what happened to Albert. Tane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house where this all happened? For K's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. 
You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throckmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Hmm. Where's your Oberon, huh, Titania? Where's your Oberon, huh, Titania? Can't catch a mackerel since those Innsmouthers took over the fishing business. You like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Something with this helmet. Gives me chills. What's wrong with it? What was that? Yeah, this. Well, we should have never done that. Everything should have remained in the, that cave. What will become of me is singing in my brain, dancing on my eyelids. Every time I close my eyes, Unreadable. The cycle goes on and on and on and on and on and on. In the end, it comes. I must warn everyone. I must tell my father. He's here. Alright, this place is clear. Mm. Lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh, my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Bye. Hmm. Let's see. Through the door. Dog mat looks mm. better than the owner's bed. That's right. Shells, gunpowder. I feel like there's crafting in this game. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Uh, let me look around real quick. All right, that's it. Uh, it would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Okay. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you 
police? I've already told them everything. That's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened mm. here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. And he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. And he started to make these horrible sounds and... Okay. 